Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So Google has officially launched their Android 10 on September 5. It is more of an incremental update. In this video, I'm going to install the Android 10 GSI on my Redmi Note 4 and see how it performs. You can also try this GSI on any other phone with Treble support. But before that, make sure you back up your previous ROM files and data. Firstly, check out whether you have a Treble support in your device or not by installing this app. If not, then install any Treble based custom ROM, for example, latest Pixel Experience ROM. Also, make sure you have a Treble supported FAB recovery. Now download all the files from the description box below. Once downloaded, boot into TWAP recovery. Now wipe system, cache, data and dalvik cache. Now install revenge OS zip file. Then install permissiver version 4 file. And now press the image file and install the GSI image file of Android Q. It will take around 2 to 3 minutes to complete. Next, switch back to zip installation and flash zygote version 2 zip file. Once installed, you are good to go. Reboot the system and enjoy the Android 10. First boot may take some time, so wait for it. After boot, you might feel the UI laggy. To fix that, install the Google Play service APK and reboot. Now coming to the ROM, since it is a GSI, it is pretty basic. In the Android 10, you will get a system-wide dark theme. New gesture navigation similar to MIUI, though you still get the option of two-button navigation or traditional three-button one. Then there is a new privacy control in which you can change the timing when or how the app will collect data. Example, if you want Facebook to use location only when you are using the app, you can do that in the privacy setting. Then there is a new volume controls. Also there is a new Android easter egg. Now the question comes, should you use this ROM as a daily driver? Well not yet. Well the biggest con of this ROM is that it lacks Volti support, at least for Redmi Note 4. It might be supported in other devices. Also there was a major battery drain issues and some apps does tends to force close quite often. Well I hope a more stable version will be arriving in coming days but if you want to have a taste of new version of Android then you must give it a try. Lastly subscribe to our channel. I will be making an updated video once more stable version of Android 10 ROM is out. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.